document versioning. Now, this particular feature is used a lot. However, it does have to be managed properly. What we want is we want to keep a version every time someone makes a change to the documents in this library. So what we're going to do firstly is turn on document version here at this library. So we go into the library tab or ribbon, go to the settings for the library, and once we're in here, under general settings, we go to versioning. Now, we don't want content approval. We want this. We're going to select major and minor. Notice the numbering. And we're also going to say we can keep five major and five minor or draft versions of a single document. Now, when something is in draft, who can read it? We're just going to say any user. Now, we're not going to require checking out. And we're going to say OK to that. And we're going to return back to the document library. This and this and this and all of these have a version when it was uploaded. If I go in and use the ellipse and the ellipse again and edit the properties, am I making a new version? Well, let's make a simple change. Just chapter one is the new title. And I'm going to save that. Now, if I go back and use the ellipse again, and the ellipse again, notice we have these entries. These will only appear if versioning is enabled. So let's look at the version history. And I see the version history. Notice the time and date stamp. Very important. And it tells me what was done. Now I'm going to close that and I'm going to ask to edit the document proper. You will always get a warning. Now one of two things, three things could happen. You could have the document open in a web browser, which means Office web apps have been installed. Or, in my case here, Word is going to open. We could also get an error message that says the document cannot be opened if we have nothing to open it with locally. So I'm going to enable editing and I'm going to do a simple change. And now, just to show you something, I'm going to go to the File button here. Right? And I can see right here that it's come from SharePoint. Now I'm going to use the drop down and show the document panel. And notice I can see where the document has come from. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press the little Save button and go up to SharePoint. Now have I made a version? I've saved it. Let's go see. Let's go back to SharePoint. And this was the document. And let's look at version history. And notice it is a minor version. Let's go back to Word and make another change. And let's save that. Did we make a version? Let's go back and have a look. Notice we haven't. And the reason we haven't is because when we actually save this, it doesn't make the version, even though we saw it, we have to close this. 
and when we close it and go back to version, there's the version. Now we want to see this. We can have a look at it. We can view it. And this is when it was done. There's no scheduling. If we want Word to open, we just click. Now it's prompting us to log in because I have not trusted SharePoint within my Office installation. Now let's look at the original version. I'm just going to click. It's going to ask me to log in, and that's fine. Now that's funny that it wouldn't open. Um, we don't have it already open. Because if someone else has it open, then we certainly uh, wouldn't be able to open it. And I seem to be having a little technical issue with this one. And it could be I just haven't waited long enough and refreshed. Now with versions, they will have a number assigned. That's the time and the date stamp. And I can also go in here and delete a version. But before we do that, let's publish a major. This version on top of the pile has bold and italic formatting. And we go back and the ellipse and the version history. This is the published major version, and there's the description. So I have a published major. Notice it's version 2.0. This one I don't need. I'm going to delete it. And it's gone. Hmm. Where did it go? It went to our recycle bin. So the recycle bin is per user. So I can go in and I can pull up my recycle bin right here. Now notice the number, 1.1. So if I select that and say restore, it will disappear from the recycle bin and it should reappear here as 1.1. It comes back exactly where it was originally placed. Now what if we want to take an older version and make it the top version, the most frequently used? I'm going to say restore and there it is. But the original one stays. Why? Because of the time and date stamp. This is the original document. Any changes won't be there. So if I select it and log in, there's the original one without any changes. But these features do have to be managed and users have to be trained.